was your reaction when you heard about what we found? Uh, not shocked um, or surprised, uh, disappointed. And, and then the biggest thing is, okay, well, this has got to get fixed. Um, but, we, you know, I don't care if it's compliance with teaching the Holocaust education or, or African American study. These, these things have been on the books forever, and we find out that they're not teaching them. Uh, what they're doing with uh, drug and alcohol uh, abuse education, nobody you know, can tell us what they're doing. And there's always excuses. Um, and so it, to this, now it's another thing. Here's for 27 months uh, making a policy, in, putting a policy in place that makes it able for a child to be able to get um, the treatment they are prescribed uh, is still not in place, in, as you, as you uh, well outlined. And so yeah, so again, it's just another example of where we've got to go out there and make sure that these laws that are being passed by the elected officials, signed by the governor, are, are being put into place in our school system. What action are you taking now as a result of what we found? Well, we're going to send a letter, I think it went out today, um, and it basically says to the districts, if you have a policy that's in compliance with what the legislature and the governor said to do 27 months ago, we want to see that policy. If you don't have a policy, we're giving them until December 10th, um, and if they don't have that policy done and in place by December 10th, and then we'll use all of our um, power within the department to make sure that that happens. What kind of penalties could these school districts face? Oh, everything. I mean, you could, we could withhold salaries of the superintendent. We can withhold funding to the district. We can withhold uh, and make them ineligible for grants. Um, they risk literally when you're when when the law says as a school board member or superintendent do X and they're not doing it, um, they can risk suspension and removal from office. What do you say to these school districts who are worried about losing federal funding? Well, you know, here's the deal. It's just not real. You know, so Florida, all we did in that, in that particular instance, all we did was say if you're a child and you're sick and you've gone through all this medical um, screening and a physician tells you this is good for you um, and you need it and at some points during the school day, all we tell the districts is make that opportunity for that child to get that medication available to them during the school day. So it's not even the school district personnel, it's not a nurse or someone, they, the caregiver of that child, the parent, guardian, whoever it may be, comes in, all the school does is make it a, you know, a nursing room, a whatever, uh, a private room for them to be able to administer the drug and leave. The drugs aren't stored there, it's not the school personnel doing, there's just zero legal liability, zero. And, and here's what, that's what Florida says. We have states like California, Oregon, Colorado, all across the country who have flat out recreational marijuana and there's no federal agents going in there and stopping people from doing recreational marijuana. We're talking about medicine for a child. There's zero, zero concern or legal liability with the federal government. It's just an, it's a blatant excuse and we, and we know that because certain districts are doing it and they're doing it well and we're not having a problem. So to the other districts, uh, get your act together. Why hasn't there been more oversight from your department until now? A lot of it is just, you know, because you, 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 the legislature passes a law, uh, we implement the rules and we send it to them, and what we found out that if we don't put into place, and we've only been on the job, Governor Sanders got elected, he appointed me uh, and approved by the commission, uh, we've only been on the job for eight months and already we have adopted almost every single board meeting, our board has adopted rules that have basically said, here's the laws that are on the books that you're not enforcing, and now, now we make them through accountability. This is another example, whether it's drug and alcohol abuse, whether it's mental health abuse, sex trafficking education, um, a Holocaust education, um, African American studies education, and now this medical marijuana, we say to them, give us your plan, tell us how it's being implemented, and, and let us know how and when and where it was implemented. And if you don't do that, then we're gonna come down with sanctions. So we've been very aggressive in making sure that they comply with the law. What's next? On this, well, obviously next is they'll get the letter. All the other districts that are not in compliance will be in compliance by December. Uh, and if they're not in compliance, they'll suffer consequences. I think this is my last question for you. You know, I, I just gotta ask you, you know, we, I was sending questions for about a month to your department. It seemed like it was kind of hard to get answers on this. Um, I tagged the department in you on Twitter. I put it in a public records request for your schedule for two weeks. Was there a reason that you or the department didn't want to wasn't ready to talk about this? No, I mean, on anything, when someone makes you aware of it, you know, and, and you have my contact information, you can text me anytime. I'm, I'm over 50, so social media is not my strongest suit. Um, but we'll get, we'll get answers to you right away. But a lot of it takes, you know, okay, because there's 67 counties. You got to go out there and find out, which you did a great job in the Bay Area, 
okay, okay, who has it, who doesn't have it, why don't you have it? And, and again, then they say, well, here's the legal memorandum that we got from our lawyers that said we couldn't do this to comply with the federal law, and then you gotta go to our lawyers and say, is this even real? And look at it and research the case law. You know, so getting all that together, um, between the time I think you contacted us to us sending a letter to the districts making sure that they're complying with the law uh, that was passed by their elected officials and signed by the governor is uh, less than 30 days. That's pretty fast. We move, we move quickly. Those are all the questions I have. Is there anything else you want to say? No, that's great. Thanks. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem.